back to my channel today I'm planning from September 23 to 29 using this beautiful Oscar and Lou kit and as you can probably tell by the title I'm doing a collab with Mellow Plans woo -hoo! who's keen so this has been a bit of a long time coming so we're both planning using the same kit and I'm forward planning for the week ahead and she is back planning for the week bean and we're both uploading on the same day so that's very exciting this is actually the second time i'm doing a voiceover the first time i did it i voice over the entire video and then my mac decided to shit itself and i lost it luckily i didn't lose like my normal intro and things like that but yeah long story short i now have to do the voiceover again so that's fine <laughs> It's fine it's fine anyway going through my stickers these are just the usual suspects you guys know I use pretty much the same stickers through every spread but this time I wanted to bring in a lot more things that are more muted because this kit from Oscar and Lou is much more muted tones whereas a lot of my stuff is a lot more bright now the full box that I use in this spread I use a overlay from supernova stickers you guys may have noticed that I have done that recently in a few of my videos just because a lot of kits don't come with quote boxes they just come with full boxes so I really wanted to have a quote I decide to not use the date covers and cut the washi in half and use the washi as a top washi thing that I've done in the past and then I covered it with days of the week from sinister designs i really liked the font of the sinister designs days of the week and i wanted to incorporate that into the kit somehow so i decided to use it as date covers the little dates are from jessica kate planning and they're tiny because they're actually from her like hobo add-on thing anyway i decided to also leave the page flags because it was kind of a muted purple lavender color and I thought that was perfect anyway so big shout out to mellow plans I am really keen to do this plan with me with you so we've got no rules or anything like that whereas last time <sighs> rip my life last time the camera decided to not focus for the entirety of the video and then right at the end it then focused whereas this time I have my new camera and I've had no issues since I've returned it and got a new one the first one I had had issues but I've been able to replace it and this camera has had no issues anyway I've put the full boxes down below as washi I really like doing this not only does it give you something else to look at but like this kit has eight pages so you'd be able to use it over two weeks if you really wanted to the way that I've done it with the washi at the top and then the full boxes down the bottom, there's heaps of functional stuff in this kit too. Like there's so many full boxes and half boxes and checklists and everything. It was just great. I really love planning with this kit. The sidebar, I decided to try and be cute with the bows and it was just an epic fail. As you can see, this one just broke. Um, I tried to like put a bow in between each of the different things that are in the sidebar so I have meals I have PR posts and I have a to-do list I don't use the weekly habit trackers that I normally use because this kit only had one and I haven't really been following up with them anyway so I just thought I'd change it up this week and my PR post will be as you can see very busy because not only do I PR for my usual stores that are Jessica Kate Planning, Sticker Thief, Wednesday Planning and Sinister Designs but Planner Goddess Studio has just opened up and the gorgeous Vicky is the store owner and she has released some beautiful kits including kits from all of us PR girls that have helped make it so that's what Planner Goddess Studio is all about I'll link my code down below as well and yeah i also have in the sidebar that i want to do a pomegranate pins and prints mystery post haul and plan with me video as well and yeah that's pretty much the sidebar going on to monday it is rhiannon's birthday who is dylan's sister and we're really close so 
barking that in. And then it's nine weeks keto. Woo! The last couple of weeks I haven't noticed too much of a difference, but when mum was up we were not eating the best, so that would be why I've plateaued a little bit, but hopefully I can get back to it and start losing a bit more weight. I have to wear a belt with most of my pants now, including my work pants, so that is definitely a win. And I'm working eight to four. That half box, I'm not sure if I'm gonna exercise or if I'm gonna walk the dogs or something like that, so that's what's why it's there. And then Tuesday, I'm working eight till four, and then I, this week I've decided to use the checklist again because I wanted to fill up the space. I also want to do some meal prep and I absolutely love the Doodles Do little girls. I think they're so cute. And just with the pink hair, like it's really muted. So it goes really, really well with this spread. And bubble tea is kind of like my cheat. I don't wanna have this video overrun with things about mental health, but I do wanna give you guys a bit of an update. I've recently started antidepressants, which is Lexapro. I've been on this on and off before since year 12 and have had good results with it. And although my symptoms the last couple of months have been more anxiety and stress rather than depression related, I have definitely found an improvement. I'm not sure if you guys can tell with my voice, but my mum has definitely been able to tell that I'm sounding a lot better and yeah, stuff like that. Dylan's been really great. I actually let him know the other night. I'm like, look, you know, you probably get really frustrated when I'm down because you feel like there's nothing you can do for me. But actually just being my partner and being supportive and just being there for me is enough and you are doing the best that you can and I appreciate it. Hopefully he took it on board and realised that even him not doing anything and just being there for me is good. But yeah, he's a he's a good egg and as someone who hasn't really had to deal with mental health himself personally, I think he deals with it in his own way, but I can appreciate that he gets frustrated that he can't do anything to help or he feels like he can't do anything to help. But if you are there for your loved one and they have mental health concerns, just let them know that they're there. Like, that's that's the best thing that you can do, to be honest. Anyway, that's my little segment about smegma. Smegment. Ew. Did I just really say smegma on my channel? Yuck. That's a way to lose followers. But anyway, let's get off this topic. Um, I'm really liking how this spread has turned out. The blue is a really lovely like dusty blue and I think it really stands out in the muted kind of colours and the dusty pink's really nice as well. I liked using the laptop from Blackbird Print Co. I got that idea from Plan With Jess, she uses laptops quite a bit and that is to edit and upload a plan with me and I'm really trying to get myself into a habit of having some me time and having facials and wearing masks and stuff because my skin is so fucking angry at the moment. I don't even want to do. Like, I'm a 26-year-old with 16-year-old skin. It's so frustrating. And I've gone on a pill that's specifically related to having acne and I'm, well, I think I know what it is. It's stress and it's not drinking enough water. Anyway, I'm really keen for this next week because I'm working Monday to Thursday and then I have Friday off, and then I'm working Saturday to Thursday the following week, and then I have three days off. So I'm really glad that work has taken on board my feedback that yes, I do wanna work up to full time, but I don't think me working 12 days straight is good for my mental health. So yay, they've taken that on board and that is great. I still don't know how I feel about work, like. At the moment, I'm still getting frustrated with feeling like I'm the only one there, feeling very unsupported. I guess there are a few people going on annual leave and there are a lot of difficult patients at the moment. And it's really frustrating. Like, I'm a physiotherapist and I really want people to get better and I want to do what's best for the patient. And I just want them to improve and when they're difficult... Not only are they just getting themselves ag aggravated, but they're aggravating me and then I don't work at my best and I can't help not only them, but other patients as well. So it's just like, 
act your age. This lady that caused me to have the panic attack last week was just she's just acting like a child and it's not just me that she's annoying, it's everyone. Anyway, I was able to rant in the last voiceover, but then I don't think it's really productive for this voiceover, so I'm glad that I got that off my chest. I had to take my Kelpie Storm to the vet today. He had suspected conjunctivitis. His eye was really gooby and weeping and it looked really sore and he kept like scratching it. And he was a bit of a trooper, so that was good. He does he's a rescue, so he doesn't really like going to vets or gets really anxious and he's just a he's a good boy, but he's he's sleeping next to me at the moment. I don't know if you can hear him snoring. But the poor thing, we've had to put, like, eye ointment into his ear and we'll have to do that three times a day for a week. Hopefully that improves him. But I don't know whether it was because of mum's seeing eye dog puppy that was besotted with him, whether it was her licking his eye or whether it's the pollen that's out at the moment because it's spring. Anyway, the vet was really nice and I thought the bill would be, like, 150 I was only 103, so that's a pretty good sign. Like, yes, it was expensive, but for us at the moment, like, our pets are our babies, so I'd do anything for him. Oh, my God, he really has started snoring. That's so funny. Poor little buddy. Anyway, um, so I'll run you through a bit more of the spread. So Saturday is my soccer presentation so I plan on washing my hair and getting all dolled up for the night I haven't picked out what dress I want to wear yet but it'll just depend on what I can fit into so hopefully I can have a few different options there and then just Saturday because I'm working I'll probably just have a bit of a chill day later in the afternoon and do some errands and stuff like wash the laundry and meal prep and different things like that Oh, I do want to buy a new phone, but that probably won't happen the Saturday that I've planned for. I reckon that's going to happen the Saturday just before this video goes up. So I'm going to upload on the 22nd, and I reckon I'll buy the phone on the 21st. I will let you guys know in the comments what phone I decide to go for. I currently have an iPhone 6S, which is secondhand to me. And the camera does this weird shaky thing when I try and take photos. So I have to take like 10 different photos because they're all fucking blurry. So I think I want to either get an iPhone 8 because I've heard the cameras are really good. And I've had an iPhone for ages. And because the 11 has come out, I thought the 8 might go down in price. Or maybe a Google Pixel 3. Or a couple of the girls in the planner groups have said that the Oppo is good for their price point. So that's kind of like the options that I'm throwing around at the moment. But I haven't been Android since 2013. So it's been a while. I'm not really sure where I'm leaning, but I'll let you guys know. I'm trying to have a bit of a low-key weekend, the weekend that I'm planning, because I'm working. But I also want to make sure that I do errands as well. It's a fine balance when you're working a weekend, i found. And I reckon that's kind of what tipped me into not having great mental health. But I have put down a half box of me exercising. Either I want to go to the gym to do a class or I want to go for a run. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I decide to do either one of those things especially now that the weather's nicer I do want to take the doggos for walks and runs this brings us to the end of the video where I show you guys what I've got left of the kit because it was such an extensive kit I decided to do a hobo plan with me as well which I will upload for you guys as well I really hope you enjoyed this video please go and check out Mellow Plans's video and I'll link that down below thank you guys so much for watching catch up